Hello everyone and welcome to Butterfly Dreams Crochet and More. My name is Jeannie and today we are going to be showing you the yarn. We, like I'm more than one person. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you the yarn that I chose for the fox blanket and show you the progress that I have made on it so far. So, um, this was picked from my Willa Makes on yesterday's video. If you have not seen that video, I will leave it in the at the end of this video and you can go and check it out. Um, this is for Kingston, my grandson. He chose the fox blanket. Now, I'm only going to be making one square and then working out from it. So, the, the fox will be the center of the square. Um... I am on the granny stitch rows already, but I wanted to come on and talk to you about the yarn that I chose and stuff like that. So the book gives you recommendations for your yarn colors and choices. For the blanket part portion, they say light gray. For the fox itself, they said carrot. Then, of course, white and black. And then they said teal, heather, or aqua. Now, I did not have a carrot color, but I did have a rust color, which I thought went really appropriate for a fox and stuff. So, um, we're going to talk about the yarn. Now, the book recommends that you use a 5 millimeter crochet hook, but I'm using a 5.5. .5. Um, so, mine's going to be a little bit bigger than what the book recommends it to be. So, this is what mine is looking like so far. So here are my stitch markers where you have to mark your stitches because this is where you will come in and do your eyes, your eye lines um, that you see right here. Then I'll have to put the nose on and make the ears and put them on. And then I have to do this little portion here and the little twirlies here on the side, which is his whiskers. So I have completed the entire block in itself. Now, when I made the unicorn blanket for Kinsley, and I'll insert a little clip of a video here for the one that I made her, the unicorn one. And everything. I only needed two cakes of yarn, a lavender and a white, to do her blanket with. For this one, I ended up having to have five cakes of yarn. I ended up having to make five cakes, uh, three cakes in the rust color, two um, in the gray mist, no, one in the gray mist, and one in the white, which gave me a total of five. So, because you, you're doing gray here on the ends, and then you started out with the rust color, and then you kept the rust color going, and of course, you're doing your decreases and stuff. So, I was glad when I got up here. <laughs> I could cut the white off and I could cut some of the extra orange, uh, rust colors off. But it still wasn't that bad. It did take me a little bit longer to do it than it did the, the unicorn one. Because it was just back and forth with the lavender and the white. So, um... But yeah, I'm on my granny, my second row of the granny stitches. I have gone around it the first time. Now, what I do like about it is you do not do a border around before you start your granny stitch rows. Um, it show you have a graph in the book that shows you how to do it and everything else, or you have the written instructions. But the yarn that I am using for the gray is called Gray Mist, and it is I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. I only have one skein of it, so I'm more than likely going to have to do a Hobby Lobby run next week and pick up a couple of more skeins of the um, Gray Mist. I should have another skein of the Rust it more than likely is in one of my baskets for my scrappy blanket. So I should be okay with the rust color. And as far as the heather teal or the aqua color, I'm going to be using light blue, which is a Premier Basic yarn. 
and I do have two skeins of it. Um, and now the rust color is a big twist yarn. And I don't want to go to Montgomery to have to get another one, which they probably don't even have in the store. So, if not, I will do as many rows with the rust that I can, and then I will just do the other colors. Um, but the white that I used is also a, a big twist white. And I honestly didn't have any issues with the rust color or the white. And it actually went very well with this I Love This Yarn. So, I'm very pleased with it. Now, I'm going to do the three solid rows with the gray mist around. And then, um, I will switch, start switching out and doing... Uh, multiple color stripes so the outside will have light blue and it will have white gray and some rust in it now before I start on the other part once I finish row three I'm just going to place a stitch marker there so I don't lose any of my stitches and I am going to go ahead with the light blue and make them what I would call the mouth portion and go ahead and do his ears and everything that way what yarn I have left I know I can put into the actual um, blanket and making it bigger so but these are a lot of fun to make y'all I really enjoyed making the um, unicorn blanket and this is one of 11, I think I got to make for the grandkids. So, hey, we're getting it done, though. I know a lot of y'all have said what a great idea the wheel was. Look, if you want to take that and run with it, go right ahead. Whatever it takes to get you grounded and disciplined to get your stuff done. It's the only thing that matters. And like I said, on my wilt wheel, that's not all my wilts. But as I work some of them down, I will add more to it. Um, I do have quite a few blankets on my wilt wheel. And unfortunately, some, most of them are mosaic. So, yeah. We got to get that stuff worked down. We got to get these whips done. And like I was explaining in the video yesterday, um, none of my makes will ever go into the whip wheel. And what I, the the reason why I did it is so I can get my whips done. But I didn't want to just focus on the whips because you know how you get bored with one project and you put it down because you've seen something someone else has made and you want to make it or you see something new and you want to make it and you completely put that whip to the side and you forget about it. And a lot of times the current whip, the current project that you started guess what it becomes a whip too so i created the wheels one a wheel of mates and one a wheel of whips that way i could actually create something new and get one of my whips done all together so and so far, it has worked out wonderful. I have completed the hot dog condiment set as well as the brick by brick blanket, which y'all will get to see in a video on Friday. And I will talk to you about that, um, about the do's and the don'ts, the ins and the outs, and the likes and the dislikes, if any at all. So... 
But yeah, y'all get to see that on Friday. And as I complete one, we will go to the wheel and we'll pick something else. Now, I did give myself two weeks on the mosaic blanket, but I am going to try to have it done in a week. And that would include the border. So, we'll see. Um, I don't have a specific time frame to complete a will bin or a make, but this is pushing me to, to, to a drive of overdrive <laughs> to get this stuff done because I'm always excited to go back to the wheels and see what else we're going to be working on. <laughs> and when I do the wheel of whips, I start cringing because I don't know what it's going to pick. I know what I put on there. But when I've mashed that button for it to spin, I don't know what in the world is going to land on. But yeah. So this blanket consists of I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby, Big Twist from Joann's, and Premier Basics Yarn. So you don't have to have the same coordinating yarn to do these blankets with, y'all. Use your stash. That's what I'm doing. Now, of course, I'm going to have to go get some more gray. I, gray mist, I know that. Uh, well, I may not. I may not. I got to look in that back room in Chastity's blanket bag where I bought that yarn. I think I bought gray mist to go in it. And if I did, I'm just going to pull from it. And then I'll, because Chastity's blanket is not on the list yet. Um... I'll pull a skein out of it if I have it in there. So, and I may have a gray mist, some gray mist in my scrappy blanket as well. All right, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go and I'm going to continue working on this. I have one more row of just the gray to do and then I'll start with the different colors um, once I make the mouth part, the ears, and I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes because that's the black is only required for the nose, the eyes, and the ears. So, we're going to get her done, y'all. So, next time y'all see this, you'll see his face and his mouth and stuff or whatever that's called to be already added on to it, too. So, I'm going to go ahead and do row three of the granny stitch around. And then I'm going to pause there and go ahead and make the other little stuff and get it added to the blanket as well. And then I'll pick back up with doing just my granny squares. Well, not granny squares, my granny stitches. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, be kind, remember to smile, know I love each and every one of you all. And thank y'all so much for choosing to come into the Crochet Oasis and spend your time with me. Because you could have went and watched anybody else, but you chose to watch me. Until then, stay hooking. Keep hooking. Hook, hook, hook. Hook in the hand, yarn in the other. Equals hooking. <laughs> hook in one hand, yarn in the other. Equals hooking. See y'all in the next video. Bye for now.